What's up everyone, Streetspeed717 here today. All kidding aside, Mike would love to do a collab with you one day, man. I know you're up in Hershey, PA, about three hours or so from Richmond, Virginia. Um, I got all my cars here, Blucifer, Karma, as you see the C7. So would love to make something happen one day. Let me know, bro. Hit me on the DMs. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. To many of you watching right now, this might catch you by surprise. So if you haven't checked out yesterday's video, be sure to go check out that video first, then come back and proceed with this video. Right here behind me guys, we have our newest addition, the 2015 Stingray C7 also known as Karma. We did indeed give this car a name. We needed something that would fit, and I think Karma is a pretty pretty good name. Um, a lot of you would probably agree it's better than Blucifer. Bruh. Anyway, I wanted to go and bring you guys along with this video and give you a full rundown on the 2015 Sting right here, and I'm gonna try my best to fight through the wind. I am on a parking deck, and of course, whenever I go to film, the wind has to come. So bear with me, guys, if there's some parts that are absolutely terrible. Here it is, guys, 2015. Corvette Stingray and yes, this is a non Z51 package not a Z06 uh, has the Z06 appearance package on here We'll go more into that in just a moment, but this is a 2015 base Corvette and Honestly the reason why we didn't jump on a Z51 or a Grand Sport for one I don't know if you guys have seen the used car market lately But it is absolutely insane and to find a Corvette in red and the spec we wanted and the looks we wanted and stuff was nearly impossible and overall the prices on these things and used cars and such are just going berserk so that's factor number one factor number two for those of you that caught yesterday's video this is indeed my girlfriend's car i have the mustangs she had to go and switch it up on me and get a red corvette we're teaming up with this car and i was reading over some of the comments yesterday and boy oh boy was there a lot of negative energy and just straight haters for some reason i don't know why i don't know if it's jealousy that a female which is my girlfriend Ramina has this car and you're driving around a Honda box and just have to make judgments. I saw a lot of those negative comments. I'm not going to go and talk about them, but man, dude, be a little more excited for us. We've been grinding and working hard and growing with each other in order to obtain this car. So that's all I'm going to speak on that. That's another reason why we didn't really focus in on a Z06 because in my opinion, I think a Z06 is just too much car for her and hell. Z06 would be faster than my car, and Blucifer scares the mess out of her, so that probably wasn't a good idea. And not to mention a good Z06 with lower mileage, starting at like 60 grand. This was 46, and that was kind of on the higher side. Before we go into the more boring aspect of this video, such as the spec, the price, um, our game plan, yada yada, let's just go ahead and give you guys a quick little walk around. Take it in. Yes, this is a Chevy on a Mustang channel, but you know what? We're diverse here. We love all American muscle, and this isn't gonna be replacing any of my Mustangs. The content isn't gonna be Corvette, Corvette, Corvette. That sounded like that TikTok song, and I'm, I feel really cringe about that. But hey, this is the ladies edition, man. You guys have to drop a thumbs up on this video. I hate to say it, but I love to say it at the same time because I obviously um, I take part in this as well, but it is such a good looking car. And you know, I'm not gonna be one of those Ford fanboys that craps on Chevy and talks all this mess, but you can't deny this car, Chevy knocked out of the park. It's probably one of the best, if not the best Corvette model they ever came out with. And if we're speaking the ZR1 model, it even gets better. For a base model Corvette minus, you know, the appearance package from a Z06, this thing's on fire, man, literally. We did end up spending 46,000 for this car with a bumper to bumper lifetime drivetrain warranty. That was huge and yes, that means this car is gonna remain NA for most of its life. I really have no intentions on boosting this car. As you know, we have 700 horsepower Blucifer on lock if we want to play around with a boosted car. This Chevy is known for their all motor builds and I think that's the route we're gonna go with this. At some point in time, the car is gonna get heads cam e85 full bolt-on and it's going to be an eight speed monster and i want to say these things can make upwards to 550 wheel na and that's a lot of power man and not to mention the torque they make 
right on the money. So $46,000 out the door, all said and done. And some of the selling factors were, again, the Z06 package. You have the front lip here, you have the side skirts, and then you have like the stock Wayne gurney flap. And that just absolutely gives the car a killer look. And I can see why they put them on the Z06. And I want to say the car is also lowered on the stock bolts. That's another beautiful thing about Corvettes is you can lower the cars on stock bolts. It's definitely not stock height. And, um, you know, with the lowering and stuff, we do have some Verde wheels that are offset. So that's a plus as well. And, you know, the wheels definitely grew on me. I really do like them. I don't know, fam. I don't think I'm going to switch these wheels. I mean, I'm going to leave it up to Romina, but I think she digs them as well. And they're a great brand, Verde. I used to have Verde on um, Blucifer when it was back. So very happy that, you know, it came with some quality wheels. And whoever had this before us definitely did it right. You guys got to let us know in the comment section down below. Do you like the Verdes that are on the car now, or should we hit the market and switch some things up? But here's a little side view. And I honestly like it. I think it flows with the car very nicely. And the last little thing as far as exterior wise, I wanna say is this grill. I know it's not the stock one because the stock one has like a chrome bar that goes through it and looks absolutely horrible. I believe this is the Z06 grill. And just by looking at it, it gives the front end a really nice look and it definitely ties in all the skirts, the lips, the um, the wing and what have you. So I really do enjoy that. Black vents in the hood, which match up really well. We have the black roof, which is Ramina and I's favorite part of the car. We'll show you that in just a minute. And these black little um, side vents. And again, I'm not too sure if all this comes on a base model. I, I'm really new to this and still learning as I go. I just personally think this car is right up my alley, but I think she likes the color scheme as well. Red and black was by far the best decision we made when it comes to the color of the car because we were actually looking at some of the gray ones. They didn't pop like this. I wanted a yellow one from the start. She wasn't really keen on the yellow, but yellow or red on these cars is an absolute must. It's a win-win, honestly. It's perfect. You got the scoop of the exterior of the car. Now let's head inside for the interior. And probably one of my favorite parts about this, I think Chevy did such a wonderful job considering this is a 2015 and every car that comes from the factory is always done up. So that's a plus when it comes to Chevy. The first thing you're gonna notice is we do have two of these leather sports seats. I think this is just, you know, base seats. A lot of the models come with these and um, they are both electric. They're both very nice. Um, we opted out of the heated and cooled seats. We actually went with the 1LT just because I personally didn't think the extra couple thousand dollars was worth it for the heated and cooled seats. And I read up the reviews on the heated and cooled seats for these cars and a lot of people said they were absolute trash and not worth the money. And plus, if you're driving a car like this, you typically don't even have the windows up. You have the windows down, air flowing, and this car is never gonna see snow so as far as the heated part i didn't really didn't really agree with it and didn't think we needed it we moved to the steering wheel i'm a little bummed about this um i know some of the models come with an alcaterra flat bottom steering wheel it just gives the driving experience much more um comfort and just a more of a sportier feel we don't have that but what we do have are these awesome paddles right here because we did go with an eight speed transmission and here's why when ramina and i first started looking for a corvette um we were definitely dead set on a manual um a manual 2lt and i was thinking I was like for one this is going to be a lot of car for her in a manual transmission and two again the 2LT I just didn't find worth it so we ended up backing up settling for a 1LT and I was just thinking in my head I was like okay do I really want another manual car when automatics are the wave these days um, I never had a sports car automatic um, all my Mustangs the Fox Blue 2 valve and Blucifer are all manual cars so you know, it just made sense and it felt right to get an automatic for multiple reasons. One, I can enjoy the auto life. Um, it, it shifts amazing. The eight speed, you know, we had the trans flush and everything and it got rid of all the problems that these occur. I've had no problems with this transmission. I know, again, I stated this in yesterday's video that the eight speeds are notorious for all the bucking and stuff, but that was because of the old tranny fluid that was put in there. This one's flawless. It feels great. It shifts really quick. Um, you know, it's it feels good. It feels good and I'm overall super happy with the eight speed. And now we talk about Romina with this being her first sports car. You you know, it's a Corvette, it's super low. We do have the Z06 package on it, so it makes it even lower. I wanna say we're like this far off the ground. She's never experienced a car like this. And nonetheless, the front end on the Corvettes are super long. And you just have to learn how to drive one of these. It's way different than her daily driver, the Mazda. And um, I just, you know, with this whole trip to Florida and her experiencing her dream car, if we would have gotten a seven speed manual, I would have been driving 100% 
percent of the time and that's not really fun man I wanted her to fully enjoy this experience and this is you know not a lot of people get to do something like this and we've been working super hard her and I are a great team and I just wanted her to ultimately be happy with our overall decision and I know I am I know she is she got to enjoy the car um, you know if this doesn't say enough I don't know what does how happy are you I'm so happy like I can't believe this is mine Oh, actually, congrats. We just did something it. insane. I can't believe it. This is a hot ass car, dude. Like, I'm. Wow. We just did this. I'm... Like, I'm being very dramatic right now, but. Dude, like... you should feel like that. Not everybody gets to do this. We work hard for what we have. <laughs> you can't be crying. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Nothing but smiles in that clip. She was so excited and that made me feel good. I think we did the right thing. We didn't get the 2014 auto because I know that auto is kind of doo-doo. 2015, the 8-speed was introduced and the 1LT package. So overall, we're both very happy and we're very happy about this as well. As you can see above me, we have the transparent roof. It looks black on the outside, which you know me, black roofs, that's my MO. And you know, you can see right through it and it's just such a cool effect and obviously all Corvettes the the top pops off and it gets put right in the back there so we did have the top down cruising in the Florida weather and had some Florida vibes rolling so it was perfect and it was just so fun and me personally being a Ford guy I'm enjoying the little things about a Chevy they honestly knocked it out of the park with this car man there's there's no hate, there's nothing. I almost forgot, check this out. You may have seen the video where we installed Blucifer's brand new touchscreen. If you haven't, click that link. I did put a little Easter egg in there. I mentioned the C7 Corvettes having a touchscreen from the factory. And you know, I'm, I don't know if any of you caught on to that, but I did that for a reason because I already knew we were buying this car. But check this out, tell me this isn't cool. Little secret compartment and it opens and closes. Super dope, obviously has its downsides. We can't upgrade to Apple Play, I don't think. I haven't really checked the market, but I mean, it is a movable screen, so I got a feeling it's gonna limit us on a lot. As far as the interior goes, that's pretty much it. Um, it's, you know, it's a Corvette at the end of the day. It feels like a go-kart, it sits really low. My back was nearly broken after the five and a half hour trip yesterday from Charlotte to Richmond. But, you know, these things aren't meant for comfort. It's meant to hold you in place and rock and roll. So we'll definitely be able to experience that. Hopefully this weekend we have a little trip planned where this thing is going to see some awesome curves on the road. Also another really cool feature. This is new to me. And it's sick. Auto start. Days like today where it's, you know, 93 outside, that's going to come in clutch. I'll tell you why. I've... Never experienced that before, and it's just the little things, man. The little things add up. But we have big plans for this car, and I hope you guys that are new to the channel are excited. I hope my four guys are excited. Let's go into this with an open mind. Still support Romina and I. This this is just an addition, man. Blue two valve isn't going anywhere. That content's not going anywhere. Blue for content isn't going anywhere. As far as Project Fox goes, as soon as Blue two valve is on the road, ready to rock, Project Fox is in full effect. So this is just a little icing on the cake, and I hope you guys are excited because. This is a beautiful car, and it's a C7 Corvette. It's it's truly amazing, and I can't thank you guys enough for making this possible for both of us. And um, I know Romina is very grateful. She's a hard worker. She's been working so hard, saving so long for about eight or nine years, and we put both of our minds together, made it happen. Now this is Derek's business toy, but Romina's personal dream car, and it's amazing, man honestly amazing so thank you so much for that on that note i just wanted to go ahead and inform you guys and show you around the c7 corvette thank you all so much for watching please for romina drop a thumbs up on this video all the likes matter you can go follow her on instagram at underscore romina let's get her to 10k she's very close and go run up her recent post with a hashtag dbp squad to show your support i appreciate each and every one of you we're gonna have some awesome content on this car as long as the mustangs and we're waiting on Lucifer's lights to get in from SW Lights. As soon as those are in, we're going to slap them in, get both of these together in a video, and it's going to be so sick. So again, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Drop a like up on this video. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. But until next time, we'll see you later.